So in this example, we see uh, the very start of a project in Cobra. Uh, so the first step is just uh, to define your uh, stations you have in the tube mill you want to produce the tube at. Here we see we have in this example a breakdown pass. And here in this list, we see uh, all of the stations we uh, have in our tube mill. So in this example, a breakdown pass, an idler pass, another breakdown pass followed by an idler pass, then the fin passes, and at the bottom of the list we would find the welding pass and the sizing passes. So uh, this is a praxis-oriented way to enter the data into the tube mill, uh, making it easier for uh, the designers to deal um, with the abstract uh, possibilities to enter the forming strategy. Okay, the next step would be uh, to define the products parameters, the tubes parameters, which is, of course, the tubes diameter, the desired welding diameter, and the range of thicknesses to uh, produce this tube, this mill. So we define a nominal thickness and we define a maximum thickness. Further, we will define uh, yeah, the strategy itself by a list of additions, which is, for example, the reduction addition, which means uh, the reduction we want to achieve in the fin passes. There is a welding addition, meaning the material lost over the cross-section by welding squeeze out. And, of course, a sizing addition. This means uh, how much material do we lose uh, in the cross-section, in the cross-sectional length uh, in the sizing passes. The next step would be to uh, define the forming steps. And one important thing about this is that we do not uh, have to define bending radii, but we should define um, yeah, the forming steps, the cross-sections in the specific stations just by bending angles. The reason for this is um, that when we define our strategy by angles, we can reuse this strategy also for different tube diameters. Okay, there is, uh, are the parameters we will see in the next picture. It's also possible to define uh, uh, defined downhill forming. Okay, so let's go on to the parameters. This is one more interesting thing about the Cobra Automatic Cube Mill. Uh, we can define uh, our additions or fin widths uh, for ranges of tube diameters. So in this example, we see from 80 to 90 tube diameter, we have a reduction addition from 1.4 and from a diameter of 90 on to a bigger diameter, we have a, a reduction addition of 1.3 millimeters. This enables the designer uh, to just use those parameter lists for uh, any diameter you want to produce uh, on this mill. We just have to define this once for a mill and can then rely on that uh, for uh, each different product we want to produce on this mill. Okay, once we defined our general tube parameters and the um, strategy, the flower will be generated uh, just by the press of a button. And the result is, of course, the forming flower with our defined tube diameter, our desired welding diameter, and all of the forming steps uh, with the angles, with the strategy we defined before. Uh, the roll design, according to this flower, is yeah, pretty similar. We just, I used just a few examples of the parameter to define here. Um, so, for example, uh, minimum diameters for top, bottom, and side rolls, tolerances, uh, minimum gap between roll and profile to uh, be sure the top roll, for example, in the breakdowns will not uh, damage the strip edge 
by undesired contact there. So uh, the minimum diameters are just uh, to ensure that you have uh, enough material between the bore and the rolls contour or between the shaft and uh, the strip itself. And the tolerances, of course, are uh, used to, to get uh, even dimensions um, at parts of the roll which are not uh, involved in the forming itself. One more important parameter you will know from uh, practice also are the root diameters of the roll. So they are defined in a, yeah, in a spreadsheet-like way and yeah, they are important uh, to, for example, maintain a constant uh, height position of the bottom axis and uh, by varying the base diameters we can get a downhill forming or uh, one other purpose for this is um, to uh, yeah, get an advance in uh, the driven rolls to get to pull the material through the machine uh, by advancing the diameters of the driven rolls. And quite similar to what we did at the flower, uh, we can create our rolls by just pressing the button. Of course, the rolls will be created uh, by the flower we defined before and by the parameters we entered for the um, roll layout then. Once we are through this procedure and we have uh, roughly the roll set we defined by our parameters, there is uh, the possibility to modify uh, the stations to modify the rows interactively. This means we have uh, here a view of the rows in the current station, in the current pass, and we can modify the machine data for this pass and the row data for the respective rows interactively. Interactively means we uh, will see the changes we do here immediately also in the COBRA drawing then. And the nice thing about this is uh, that also those interactive role modifications will be taken uh, into, the, into our database of uh, role creation strategies. So also those modifications will be taken into account when you uh, create a future project, when you create a future um, role set with, uh, the, on this mill with those settings. Then just a quick word on cage forming. There is also uh, a cage forming module in COBRA which uh, allows for defining uh, those cage beams holding the rows by just entering a few parameters in a spreadsheet. So for example the rows contour, the uh, rolls distance inside a beam and uh, the change of uh, angle from roll to roll. Um, <clears throat> those cage beams can be saved as a independent part and can be used for uh, future projects, for example with different diameters by just uh, adjusting the position of the cage beams. The forming cage can also be uh, transferred to Cobra FEA RF for a FEM simulation of, uh, of the project and this can also be done automatically by just pressing the button. <laughs>